after 9-11, we had a large group of people who found a calling with the Federal Air Marshal Service, and they are all due to retire. So we are in need of hiring. We also are in need of women in federal in law enforcement. The women in law enforcement um, were not as re represented as we should be. We are the last line of defense. We want to make sure that we get the very best of the best. So in the event that something were to happen, whether you're on a train or you're in a, a rail platform or you're in a maritime environment at a cruise ship or you're on a plane at altitude, if you have a federal air marshal with you, you're getting the best of the best. As a federal air marshal, you're, you work undercover, and it's really important to remain undercover, and that's why we're quiet and discreet. I can be filmed as a supervisor. I've been in the air marshals for 12 years. I've been a supervisor for about two years. So because of that, I'm able to be seen and put a face to the profession. I'm excited, and I hope I'll be blessed one day to be you know, an air marshal. Travel, see the world, take one day at a time, like, um, and protect and serve. Not 30 a.m. tomorrow. Yep, I would arrive uh, 15 minutes before. Someone asked me I think for me personally, the biggest thing is just uh, being able to give back and serve my country um, in some capacity. Um, so I'm actually a reservist in the military right now. Um, and I, my goal is to be able to give back on the civilian side as well.